Well, for more on the latest from Operation Wheating, which is investigating phone hacking in the UK, let's talk to our correspondent Lisa Miller in London. And Lisa, uh, this really is the culmination of months of drama. Well, there have been so many days where we have seen big news stories coming not only out of Leveson inquiry but also out of this investigation. What's important about this is that it is the first phone hacking charges that have been laid since... 2006 when the Royal Reporter was uh, charged with phone hacking and uh, and prosecuted and he was put up there as a rogue reporter and now of course we know so many years on that that was a huge fallacy. Scotland Yard's been under a lot of pressure to push on with this in investigation and do so absolutely thoroughly. They've now handed over their documents to the Crown Prosecution and as we heard with from Alison Levitt, the legal advisor Advisor, they've decided that it's in the public's interest to push ahead now with charging eight of these people. Dramatic also, Andrew, because when you think of how many of Rupert Murdoch's former senior executives and one who he held very dear to his heart, Rebecca Brooks, who are now facing uh, very serious charges. Lisa, you mentioned Rebecca Brooks and, and others, eight charged, as you just said. Uh, what can we expect will happen now? Well, for the rest of the day, we're, we're nearing midday here in, uh, in London. For the rest of the day, they will be turning up at police stations uh, around London. We saw Rebecca Brooks go through this process previously when she was charged with perjury and she and her husband were forced to front the court to answer those charges. Uh, she spoke out at the time and uh, denied it. Andrew, she has again denied any allegations this time round. She's put out a statement, I'll just read it to you. Uh, this is just in the last 10 minutes or so where she says, I'm not guilty of these charges. I didn't authorise nor was I aware of phone hacking under my editorship. Uh, I'm distressed and angry, Rebecca Brooks says. And she's angry at the Crown Prosecutor Service because she believes they had the facts and were in a position to stop this case at this particular stage. So she's indicating that she will vigorously defend these new allegations. Lisa, there are some 600 people listed in, the, in these indictments. In other words, victims of phone hacking and the associated causes and so on. Uh, of those people that are uh, that are charged, um, Rebecca Brooks will face um, additional charges, which one of which relates to uh, the late Millie Dowler. Just talk us through that case. Well, that was the case that really reached into the heart of the public here when they said enough is enough, we want some action here. Millie Dalla was a 13-year-old who you heard just in that story before, looking back at the Leveson inquiry, uh, that her family indicated that when they rang her mobile phone, she'd gone missing and they heard her voice, the mobile, the voicemail was no longer full. Uh, they thought she had access to her voicemails and it meant perhaps that she was still alive. It gave them incredible hope only to discover that she was in fact already dead. Uh, the fact that Millie Dowler's phone is included specifically in these extra charges that not only Rebecca Brooks is facing but also Andy Coulson, the former spokesperson to the, the Prime Minister, is so significant. That was the case, Andrew, you'll recall, that sparked the closure of the news of the world. That's when Rupert Murdoch swept into London and took that drastic action. And it was also the case that forced the Prime Minister David Cameron to set up the Leveson inquiry in the first place. It's really the one that people keep gravitating back to to suggest how low can the media go. So the fact that the allegations that uh, Rebecca Brooks and others are going to have to answer to specifically feature Millie Dowler's name is very significant.